Good morning, everybody. We're in Merritt, British Columbia. We're going on a ferry today. Going on a boat. Over the ocean, sort of. Prairie boy, on a boat. On the ocean. A place we don't belong. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with me, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna we make new videos every day. get this freight off my trailer tomorrow morning but we have to get over to the island today our departure time for the boat is 4 p.m. I have to be there no earlier than 3 p.m. so I don't know how strict they are on that because getting through traffic and to the boat right on time is gonna be quite difficult it's, it's hard to gauge so I'm gonna be early and we'll see what happens I might have to wait nearby somewhere but I'm gonna get on the boat today get over the ocean water. It's not typically or technically the ocean, I guess, but it is ocean water with ocean creatures in it. And I am a prairie boy from far, far inland, far away from any oceans. I don't like the ocean. <laughs> but we're gonna go on a boat and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna take this whole rig on there with us. Never been to the island before. So we'll get to cross one more place off the list of things that Trucker Josh. So we'll get to cross this place off the list of places that I haven't been yet. The list of places I haven't been in North America is getting shorter. We're through most of the Rocky Mountains already. Just gotta go through the last couple of ones here and then uh, through, the, through the last pass. And then we'll be down in the lower mainland. About three hours with no traffic and no stops to the ferry. Let's say about four hours, let's hope. I don't have too much time for delays, but I mean, we've got a little bit of time. I'm more worried about the delays that'll be uh, from traffic once we get down there. But 
I wish we could go down south and then come through the U.S. on the U.S. interstates. The mountains aren't so uh, big and clustered together there. They're sort of spread out a little bit more. A lot more like valleys, big valleys between them. Here in Canada, the Canadian Rockies are just, they're massive. And they're all just pinned right up against each other, right? Must be like it's impossible to build a nice straight highway through here. Almost. Costs a lot of money. But I've said it before, I mean, money is no option when it comes to certain things. If we want to do it, we can find the money. You know we can. But th this is pretty good here, actually. Like, this Highway 5, it's the Coquihalla Highway. This is really nice. This is how it should be all the way across Canada. Through Northern Ontario, all the way from Kamloops to the Alberta border. And that's probably the plan, obviously. That's what they want to do. You know, that's like their... 75-year uh, plan or something, you know? You know how it goes. Yeah, and if I ever got into government and I ever became a leader, a premier of a province, or the, the prime minister, if I learned French and became a prime minister, I would appoint the most epic transportation and infrastructure minister Canada has ever seen. We would have highways that were the envy of the world. That would be my main my main campaign promise. But I'm a truck driver, not a politician. I know better than to get into politics. People always ask, you know, it's... Why do a lot of these politicians that seem to get in seem to be, you know, not the... not the brightest crayon in the box, you know? I always tell them, well, it's because smart people no better than to get into politics. Unfortunately. There's a few really good ones. There's a few really good ones. I thought we were at the top before. Nope. There's more. Still climbing. I'm not sure how high we are right now, but high enough that the snow is sticking to the ground. Too high for this prairie boy. I like the flatlands. Though it is nice to come visit the mountains. They're beautiful. Beautiful. They definitely make things a lot more difficult for transport. Check. I think it's called Zopkios. Zopkios bit brake check. Top of the peak. From here we go all the way down, 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 down the mountain. So I've got to get out and make sure that all my brakes are in good working order. That I won't have any problems going down the mountain. And down the mountain we go. 8% grade. Continue on this 
Road for 39 kilometers.
afford a nice car like that and live down here in BC, you've got to be making like seven figures a year at least, at the bare minimum. I wonder what you do for a living. Probably owns a big business. That's how you make money. You got to own the business. I'm at the Chevron in Chilliwack, BC. I'm waiting here because I can't board the ferry early. I can't get there early. There's no space to park around there. And I'm not, I don't trust all of these truck stops and truck parking spaces closer by because they're probably all packed full of trucks. So I found a nice open spot here. There's not too many people here. I'm about an hour and a half away. Google says I'm an hour and 15 minutes away. I gotta be there between three and 3.30. So we're gonna plan to be there at 2.30. Half hour early, I'm sure we'll be okay if not. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll drive in circles around the block for half an hour if I have to. And then uh, we'll board the ferry then. But uh, this is where I'm gonna wait now. So the time right now is 12 o'clock uh, Pacific time, 10 after 12, and I'm gonna leave here. I wanna be there at 2.30. I don't know why. But one o'clock. So about an hour we're gonna leave here get myself into that neighborhood there make sure that there's no traffic I'm always nervous when I got to do new things especially when there's a boat involved and in a, like a strict appointment I have to be there within 30 minutes from 3 to 3 30 I have to show up there otherwise I miss the boat or I'm too early so putting the pressure on me here
get on the boat. I'm gonna be a sailor today. Lane 33, right here. Unloading the ferry right now. We're gonna start boarding soon, probably in about a half hour or so. This is like a meters. Turn right on to Wasit's Horse Bay Ferry and then turn left in 80 meters. This is like a mini version of Marine Atlantic on the East Coast. Same idea, but not nearly as big. But then again, if you think about it, this is a pretty long line up here. But... One quick note, though, uh, before we board. Uh, you're probably, probably wondering how much it costs compared to Marine Atlantic. So to go from Sydney, Nova Scotia to uh, Porto Basque, Newfoundland, it's an eight-hour ferry ride on the east coast of Canada. I've done that many times, and that costed... A few years ago, it cost about $1,500 to go both ways. I believe it was $1,500 each way. It was about $1,500 and I always get a truck on there and get a sleeper berth. Was that one way? Now I can't tell you for sure. It's been too long. I can just, I remember seeing the price. Anyway, so the price I have on this booking right here is $604.85. That's how much it costs. And uh, that gets added on top of the rate or it gets taken out of the rate, accounted for in the rate. So uh, getting anything to the island, that's the thing about living on an island, right? If you want anything to get there, you're gonna have to pay to get it there over the water. All right, here we go.
they've directed us to go back to our trucks. They can uh, fit all these trucks, and then there's cars on the deck up above us yet. Just packed all those cars we saw on, li on the lineup on the main line there. They all fit on the ship. I think there's two two decks above us. Maybe just the one. This is crazy. The amount of vehicles they can fit on here. We can still float across the water. truck stops at all so this is where uh, we were told to park we called our receiver asked where they wanted us and they said right here so here we park that's not one of our guys that's someone else there's my load that's another one of our guys and the guy in front of them is another one of our guys there's another one of our van trailers Oh, there he is. So there's four of us guys here. And then there's another two low bed, a step deck and a low bed driver over there yet. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of us here waiting to unload on the island tomorrow morning. Uh, 7 a.m. is when they open up. So the three of us, I believe first guy's gonna go at about 7 a.m. And this guy's gonna go in there about 7.30 and I'm gonna go in there about eight. Once we get unloaded, we'll head back to the ferry, head back to the mainland, and hopefully we'll have a reload waiting for us. We don't have anything planned on us yet, which is a little bit worrisome. I would like to have a plan in place, but hey, tomorrow is another day, and I won't be ready for a reload until the day after tomorrow anyways. So today's Wednesday, Thursday, we're getting this whole thing done, getting everything unloaded. And then Friday, I'm ready for a reload. Hopefully they'll have something out of the lower mainland for me. Because I really don't wanna go too far empty. But if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed down below. If you have subscribed before, do me a favor, just go down below, just double check, make sure you're still subscribed. If not, hit that button, it's free. Hit the other buttons down there as well, the thumbs up button and comment down below. Those are awesome ways to support the channel if you want to. If you want to go one step further, you can always click the join now button down below for the cost of a good cup of coffee. You can get early access to all my videos. That's up to you. If not, if you just make sure you're subscribed, that's the best thing. I'll see you right here tomorrow, everybody. Vancouver Island, British Columbia. First time ever for me. I'll see you tomorrow.